Hi, I'm Steve Clemens. I direct the foreign policy programs at the New America Foundation and write the political blog, The Washington Note. And we're here today with my friend Kati Martin and her excellent new book, Enemies of the People, My Family's Journey to America. Thanks so much for being with us and talking Thanks with us, Thanks for Kati. having me, Steve. You know, I, I am, I am uh, about halfway through the book right mm. now, and I have uh, goosebumps, and I know I'm going to have mm. nightmares, and it's a, this is a book which which... I find to be a very important public affairs book because it looks at the question of how a kind of perverted, control-oriented society can, can, can actually undo almost everything that's human. And is that the reaction you're trying to get from, from I mean, it's very much like Darkness at Noon. You tell the story of, 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 of betrayals of friends and, and this sort of incredible story of your family uh, you know, coming through here through this mm. awful mess in Hungary, and uh, you know what I'm trying to do is really uh, show, not tell, but show how the terror state functioned. Because after all, for a half a century, millions of people lived the way I did as a little kid, and my family did, as as victims of this way of life. And as it's the 20th anniversary of the of the uh, fall of the wall and the end of of communism, I think it's a a moment to uh, to to re-examine how it was that 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 we lived. And I try to do it in a very intimate way. And you went uh, into the secret police archives. I did. I, I, uh, I was able, unlike most American uh, authors, uh, I was able to do the translating myself because I, I speak Hungarian. And uh, it turned out that, that the Martin family archives, the Martin family uh, file is, is among the largest one in the Hungarian secret police archives. And so I had a, a big job of translation to do. But uh, it was a it was a it was a painful process because every step of the way, there were uh, pretty disturbing. What was the most disturbing thing you found about someone you loved or your family yeah. respected? Because you re you found things yeah. out about people who were well. Starting with my yeah. own parents, mm. um, my parents emerge as uh, as quite different people than than I, their child. Um, knew them to be. Um, they. I, I don't want to give away too much because I'm mm. hoping that everybody will read this they book. They should read it. It's, <laughs> I know it's going to be a uh, movie. I, uh, <laughs> yeah. um, uh, among the discoveries that that really shook me was that that uh, that our babysitter, for example, was was a, a, a zealous agent, mm. who, using my my sister and I. We were little kids uh, as her primary sources. Um, but in fact, uh, there was almost no one in our immediate circle that wasn't informing. But I'll tell you what, what really shook me up, and that is that the most damaging evidence against my parents, which led to their jailing, their trial and conviction as CIA agents, was provided by an American wow. who was blackmailed by the Hungarian secret police into doing that. And my parents knew this, but they were such great American patriots. Mm -hmm. You know, America took us in after my parents uh, survived the, the, the two uh, cataclysmic events of the, of the 20th century, the Nazism and then, and then communism. So when we were uh, given refugee status here um, when I was eight years old, um, they didn't want to acknowledge that there were Americans who could betray this greatest country in the world. Kati, do you worry at all that the story that you're seeing here uh, is not just a, an anomaly that, that every, I mean, even the United States has to think about these questions of trading mm -hmm. off, uh, spying on our people or secu the security state versus mm -hmm. liberty? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. do you worry about that? Because when I was reading this, this is what was going through my mind. Yes, wow, I think what it's would very it take relevant. for us yeah. to go that way? It's very relevant because, uh, again, I wasn't aware of this until I read the files that, that the kind of interrogation that my father uh, uh, was subjected to is very Abu Ghraib like. Mm you know, making him stand for, for endless hours, uh, his interrogators shouting obscenities at him. My father was driven to twice try to commit suicide. Mm. And my father was an extremely uh, reserved, composed individual, uh, not a, an emotional person at all. And that, um, and that this kind of interrogation could occur in, in, in our country, in the United States, is, is very disturbing. And I think that that is one other reason why Enemies of the People should be read. Because, by the way, the things that my father confessed to under that kind of treatment were not true. 
which you're seeing in Iran today in some cases. Yes. You know, very yeah. much. Pointless. W pointless cruelty. And both my parents were, were victims of it. What would you say are, are the, the biggest takeaways from this experience of doing this research? I mean, I know it must, it's incredibly, it's obviously the pain that you must have gone through sort of doing all this. Yeah. Um, yeah. But what, what do you think the biggest takeaways for those who read it are? And, and also, just out mm. of interest, how have your other family members re reacted mm. to the book? Uh, such such good questions. Of course, I, I worried about how how uh, my siblings and and um, most of all my sister who lived through this period um, would react. And and it was an enormous relief to me mm. when um, she had she locked herself up for for nearly two days when she was staying mm. with us and and just read. Uh, Practically not coming out out of the room for two days, and then she emerged with tears streaming down her face, and 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 hugged me and said, "This is beautiful," and um, and I feel like you've given us our parents in all their full humanity. And indeed, my parents emerge as um, as complicated and and um, reckless. Oftentimes, oh, my goodness, the chances mm. they took in the line of their reporting duties as parents of young children are, are um, really breathtaking and I wouldn't hold them up as model parents in that regard but uh, but they do emerge as uh, extraordinarily interesting people people that I would like to have known even if they hadn't been my parents um, that's that to me was the primary takeaway and I'm hoping that what you and other uh, readers will will take away is that um, is that we we can't ever let uh, a big slice of of the planet live under this kind of uh, of a state, which 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 really turns everybody into spies and agents and and informers. And when when I was greeted by the head of the secret police archives when I first began my research, and she had already read all the files, so she knew much more about me than I knew. She said to me, and this really scared me. She said. Don't judge them; judge the system. And it's a hard thing to do sometimes, but I think she's right. Thank you so much for talking to us. You know, when I when I tell people this is a page turner, it is mm -hmm. a, a gripping uh, book. I'm halfway through it, and that's only because I had to get to some <laughs> some other things today. But it's a uh, you know it, it's clearly going to have an impact on many of the contemporary questions we have today. It's already getting rave reviews. So congratulations on the book. Thank you, uh, I can't wait to get back to it. Thanks so much. Thanks for so doing much this. Thanks, for Kathy. talking to Thank me. Thank you. Thanks.